Uh, Archer 1050 was looking at a second generation TKI, Dacomitinib, and comparing it against a standard first generation TKI or Lotinib or Dafitinib. And a couple notes about this trial. One, it excluded patients with brain metastases, which I think is a really important thing to consider in interpreting this trial. Another important thing about this trial is that it is the first phase three randomized trial in EGFR mutated patients that demonstrated a statistically significant improvement in overall survival. Now, there's a press release that Flora has also demonstrated that. We're just waiting on the data from ESMO. The other thing that I'll say about the, the Archer 1050 trial is that it required a lot of dose reduction. And I don't think that we should see this as prohibitive to using dacomitinib as an agent, but I think it, it argues that it needs to be done almost with an expectation that dose reduction is going to be required. And certainly this is where the art of oncology comes in and you need uh, an oncologist who's pretty experienced in toxicity from TKIs and doing dose reduction. If you look at actual rate of discontinuation of dacomitinib versus first generation TKI, it was not any different. So I think it just requires uh, dose reduction given some of the high degree of toxicity that was seen. Really more consistent with another second generation TKI, afatinib, is how I would consider the toxicity from dacomitinib. But I think it's still uh, an exciting study that was important. I think it's a very reasonable option, but I think particularly the exclusion of patients with CNS metastases to me is quite significant that compels me to use osimertinib as opposed to dacomitinib for first-line treatment of the majority of patients with EGFR mutated disease.